Hello guys, Mr. Owl here, and today I'll be reviewing Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice. After 6 hours of playing Hellblade, I'm still trying to grasp the full picture of what this game is in the gaming community. This dark but beautiful game puts you in control of Senua, a Celtic woman venturing into the land of the Northmen in search of a way to bring someone special to life. One of the main things you'll notice on Senua's sacrifice is that there is no hut, but instead you'll have voices shouting advice, creating panic and confusion in our warrior. In Hellblade, you'll have no battle tutorials, objective markers or minimap. You'll need to trust your instincts and at the same time cope with some psychotic episodes Senua will experience. Most of the game revolves around how Senua perceives her environment. While solving puzzles that require lining up pieces of trees and beams, as the game progresses, more elements will be introduced and sometimes to find a hidden passage you'll need to look through a specific object so the path is revealed. The combat system is rewarding until some extent, but after a while is dodging, blocking and attacking. There are no skip buttons in the game, and to access most areas you'll be forced to defeat the foes before you can proceed. Also, staying alive is a very important component in this game. I know it might sound silly since staying alive is very important in every game you play. But in Hellblade, consecutive failures are punished by deleting all your save files, and you'll be forced to start all over again. So please take no risks and play it safe. I will now provide my personal take on the positive and on the negative sides of Hellblade Senua's sacrifice. The positive side, the game has incredible visuals and audio. Also brutal and kinetic meal combat, clever perspective based puzzles, and it's a immersive storytelling that could only work in games. Now the negatives are the action takes too long to start in this game. Plus, be prepared to discover everything on your own since you have no help system in the game. Now my final thoughts on the game is that Ninja Theory created something beautiful and unique. In my personal opinion, this is the best job they did so far. Some players might prefer a reboot from the Devil May Cry series, but for me Hellblade is something new and fresh. So, for me this game is worth getting. Might be a short story that you can complete in 6 to 8 hours, but all the experience you'll have while playing it, make it worth it. And that's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed my review, and if you did, leave a like, drop a comment on the box below, also share the content with your friends, and if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel for more content every week. For now, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.